Miss Jennifer! <laughs> I looked on your social media yesterday. That dress is seriously the worst thing imaginable! <laughs> you saw? <sighs> yeah, of course I saw. I saw your dress, but even worse was the bride's dress. <laughs> I kind of expect it from your sister, though. I mean, it's not like I wanted to see it, but it showed up in my feed, so what can you do, right? All the attendees had their faces hidden, but it was from that boring old woman's marriage, so I'm sure it was full of boring old attendees. Please don't be like that. It's my sister you're talking about. Besides, we all went to the same local piano class. We're all friends here, right? We're all on speaking terms. Back in the day. She was a boring, unimpressionable pipsqueak. She was younger than me, but for some reason the teacher's favorite. She tried to be more noticeable than me at the rehearsal. I never liked her from back then. I didn't realize that my younger brother's fiance was that girl's sister. Literally the worst. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. It's a small town, it can't be helped. When I used to take piano classes a while back, I really didn't like her at all. That's why I would always do little things to piss her off. <laughs> you know, like tearing the back of her dress. Or putting thumbtacks on the bottom of her chair. Oh man, I remember when she sat down on them without looking. That was seriously hilarious! <laughs> You're the worst! Why would you do such a thing? Now that stupid little girl has grown up to marry someone, what does the world come to? What kind of weird man would want to marry that thing anyway? Please, stop right now! I'm so glad I didn't take part in it. When you tried to talk me into going, honestly, I had to think about it for a second. Is that true? You know how at a wedding a lot of people get to know each other? So, I wanted to meet someone and settle down, or so I thought, but... <sighs> if it's your younger sister's man, there couldn't possibly be any good men. I didn't want to give her a gift either. So, I'm glad I didn't go. I see. We were still relatives, and it seemed like you two knew each other from a while back. That's why I invited you all, but... You missed out on a really great wedding, you understand that? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> It's your younger sister's wedding, so I'm sure everything looks great in your eyes. It's that woman's husband anyway. I'm sure he's terrible looking. She's nothing like me. I only want a good looking man who clearly makes over 100k a year. Those are the only people who are worthy of going out with me. Is that why you can't find anyone to get married to yet? What is that attitude? It's not like I can't find anyone. It's just that I haven't yet. If I wanted to get married, <laughs> it wouldn't take me that long to get married. But no one is worthy of my time yet. So I'm still in the selection stage. I see. Here's a photo of my sister's husband. Huh? Um, wow, really? Hmm. He actually doesn't look that bad. I expected much worse. Your sister must have really worked hard to find that man. <laughs> oh, or maybe she's being played. Hmm. With a face like that, I feel like he could just be scamming her. Your younger sister is so boring looking and straight-edged for some reason. I feel like she could be tricked easily. Are you sure it's okay? 
She's not loaning him any money, is she? <laughs> I don't think that she would need to loan him any money. Oh, and how do you know? Because he's a doctor? Huh? Oh, sorry, did I not tell you? My sister's a nurse. You wouldn't believe how fancy the wedding was. You really can't underestimate how rich a doctor is. It was incredible. He's a doctor? It was a brilliant hotel. And there was apparently a really famous chef. The food was incredible, too. Really? Yeah, the attendees were all fancy. They were all basically just single men. Most of them worked at famous research hospitals, too. All of his co-workers, all of his old friends, they were all doctors. What the hell? Why didn't you just tell me that first? Why would I? If you had told me that first, of course I would have gone! A doctor is way too good for someone like your younger sister and is perfect for someone like me! Oh, I should have gone, and you knew that. But you didn't tell me because you knew that, right? You... You're seriously... The worst. Get a divorce. You need to get a divorce with my younger brother right now. Don't worry, I'll let him know what you think. Huh? I think he'll be pretty pissed off, hearing that you were just telling me to get a divorce from him. So tell him then. Not that I care if he gets angry anyway. I think that if you don't have our support, though, you're going to be in serious trouble. Are you sure you're going to be okay? You would never do such a thing. You think he's just going to abandon my parents? Well, we thought that we were helping your parents out. But it seems like you were just stealing the money anyway. We found out about that recently. So I think that telling him about what you said right now will make him stop sending you money. Even if he doesn't stop, I will be giving Mom the money directly from now on. Whatever. Anyway, introduce me. What? Introduce you to who? Introduce me to your younger sister's husband's friends. I don't care if they're co-workers or what. You didn't take me to the wedding, so that's the least you can do. I invited you, but you didn't come. That was your decision. I don't know their contact information anyway. I can't introduce you. What? You're seriously so damn useless. Just ask your younger sister then. You can literally figure it out. Think about it before you say you can't. Why do I have to do all that for you? I don't think my younger sister is going to be doing any of that for you either. Why the hell not? There aren't that many beautiful single women like me. I'm a keeper for sure. I don't think my younger sister is going to be introducing some rotten bitch to a bunch of her co-workers. <laughs> rotten bitch? What? Oh, I was talking about you, Yvonne. How rude of you! How could you be that rude to your husband's sister? I cannot believe the audacity. It's the truth. That includes everything from the past, too. Even as a grown adult, you made fun of my younger sister. You even made fun of her wedding photos. You had to nitpick. There was no way I would introduce anyone like that. By the way, that dress you were calling lame? It was apparently in the Paris collection. You really don't understand high-class fashion, do you? I didn't say anything bad about the dress. You literally talked bad about it. <laughs> I guess classy items are something beyond your realm of understanding, huh? I mean, to be fair, you do collect fake brand bags that kind of look like the real thing. <laughs> I just like the design of them, okay? It has nothing to do with you. That's true. 
but your love life also has nothing to do with me. So I'm not going to introduce you to anyone. I'm not going to tell my sister about it either. <laughs> Why not? You should have forced me to go even if I didn't want to go. I see. <laughs> you really didn't want me to get married, huh? What? You didn't want me to marry some high elite class man and stand above you and your stupid ass sister. I see. Now it all makes sense. Just admit it. I didn't think about that at all. I'm actually perfectly fine with my life right now. I don't think my sister gives a shit about you either. <laughs> also, I'm just going to be clear about it now. Just because you showed up to the wedding doesn't mean that people who are making six digits a year aren't going to choose some old hoe like you. What the hell are you talking about? Of course they're going to choose me. I'm the most beautiful woman in town. I'm so popular. I'm still in the beauty team for the town. You were released from the beauty team. You're just a drugstore clerk now. Besides, the whole thing about being the most beautiful woman in town... That was when you were in elementary school. Are you seriously talking about something that was true 30 years ago? <laughs> oh, shut up. You just didn't understand. My appeal is incredible and everyone loves me. Whatever. Just introduce me to your sister's husband. Huh? I'm sure you have his contact info, right? Tell me right now. I'm so much more woman compared to your younger sister. And I'm gonna let him understand that. Okay, now you're really not making any sense. <laughs> you can't find a good job and you're almost 40. You're literally stealing and mooching off your parents' retirement. What are you talking about? I am not almost 40. I'm only 37. Also, my sister has already left for her honeymoon. They're apparently traveling around Europe now. I'm not going to tell you any contact information. And from now on, we will be stopping all financial support for you. After you being that rude, we have no choice but to cut all ties. I don't want you to try to make any weird moves towards my sister's husband anyways. Now, hang on about the money. You don't have to be that rash, right? I'm sure some six-figure-a-year good-looking dude will find you, right? <laughs> Keep dreaming, dumbass. Jennifer explained everything to her husband and was furious as expected. Her husband loves Jennifer very much. So when he saw the whole thing with the divorce and the story about being introduced... He just couldn't forgive her anymore. He got pissed off at her at the phone and then called his parents and said that he would not be contacting her ever again. He said that he would not be going home unless they chased her out of their house. And so her parents are trying to convince her to leave the house. Yvonne started spewing something about how she was going to find some rich man and be a gold digger. But no one wanted to go out with this almost 40 year old live at home woman. She's all alone now. It's going to be a while before she finds someone to settle down with. 